welcome back and uh, in this video I'm going to start uh, making the templates for the Ovation Deacon copy. I have my plans right here. And I went down to Office Max and had them print out for me. Um, always have them make two copies. So you can use one for your templates and just uh, have another one for later. Um, if you ever want to make another set of templates or you want to give them to somebody, you just take your existing one down there and just have them make a copy of it. It'd be just as good as the original. All right, so. All right, here's our plants. Here's the body. Now this guitar, depending on the year, came with two different shaped pet guards. One goes up higher, and one's a bit lower. Um, you see I got some some hand-drawn sections here. Um, got the inlays drawn in because this didn't have the inlays drawn on it. Uh, the main body shape and this pick guard shape I found on the internet. And it came with the neck but didn't have the headstock. So I traced out the headstock that I have and added that in. Um, added the shape of the second pick guard because I had a second pick guard on the one that I was working on. Fortunately, I made a template for it. So this is going to save me some time when it comes time to make the pick guard for this one. Now, this guitar originally came, you could, it came out with uh, humbuckers, but they were mini humbucker size. They were a little smaller, but they were, they were quite tall. Um, I think I'm going to route this one out for regular humbuckers. And if you've seen any of the pictures on the internet of the, the bridge system that's on those things. Um, I think a regular stop tail piece and uh, like a Nashville style bridge is not going to look very good on this. So I might, I'm milling it around in my head, but I might put a Kaler on it. We'll see. Or I can go with something else. Um, something that looks similar to the original. Over here, uh, I have um, hand drawn tracings of the neck that I have. So, those would be good templates. But for now, I'm going to go and cut this thing all up and let's start making our templates.
polycarbonate cut out. I'm going to trace around the stencil with a razor blade and get rid of the, the extra that's there from when I cut it out. sharp edge now a couple other things I'm also gonna trace out with the razor blade is I'm gonna scribe the center line uh, the lines for the side each side of the neck and I'm also gonna scribe uh, the outline of the pick guard all right let's do it Okay, we got the lines traced out with the razor blade. Uh, I just took the pick card section off just for fun. We have uh, the center line. We have the line from one side of the neck and the line down the other side of the neck. And now we need to take it over to the uh, sander. Let well, me take it to the the. Um, the bandsaw first, trim off a little more, get a little closer, and then uh, we're going to take this all the way down to the paper um, on the belt sander. So, let's do it.
sand it up right to the edge we're gonna need to get in here with some files and sandpaper I'm also gonna have to sandpaper hit sandpaper all around the outside but let's get the rest of this paper off first So off camera, I did a little finish sanding in all the tight spots. I'm not going to be using this to actually route the body with. I'm just basically using this to trace, uh, trace out the shape on the wood, and then I'll fine tune it the rest of the way when I'm sanding the body. I went through my parts drawers and I came up with some more parts for this thing. Um, like I said earlier, this guitar was in a flood, so it's it sat in a case full of water for a while. Um, here's some more parts that I have. I have the electronics. Now, this is probably one of the first guitars to ever be produced with a circuit board in it. Uh, it ran on a it was an 18 volt system for all this switching stuff in here. There. Now, I remember I had this switch was to throw it in and out of phase. This was the three-way switch but it didn't work like a Gibson three-way switch. It wasn't neck both bridge it was like both neck and then bridge and because of the way this thing was wired up um, now it, it's I thought to think it's a beautiful guitar the Deacon is a beautiful guitar uh, ergonomically designed it's it's to sit with it's comfortable it does a neck dive when you stand up and play it, it's perfectly balanced. The only problem with all this switching and all these electronics is the guitar only had one position where it actually sounded good. This guitar really didn't sound good at all. Um, it was very nasally and thin. Um, if you, you look at any um, YouTube videos out there of people playing Deacons you're gonna listen to it they're thin and nasally and they just you know this may get me in trouble with the uh, the breadwinner and um, and Deacon fan club but they sounded like shit honestly so this one's gonna have humbuckers and just probably less Paul wiring so this thing is not gonna sound like shit this thing's gonna have some gut to it. I don't know if it was because of the pickups. The pickups were pretty high output pickups, but they were going through all this crap and it just turned them thin as hell. This one that I'm building is not gonna be thin as hell. So let's put the neck on top of the template and the pick guard and we'll see how everything lines up with the the lines that I scribed in with the razor blade all right let's check that out all right there's the lines for the neck the pocket 
was about that far back. Here's the pit guard. That's the reason I had to make another pit guard. That and uh, the original owner jeweled a couple of extra holes here. I don't remember why. But he regretted that decision. So, everything seems to line right up really good. Alright. Next up, let's cut some wood. Alright, next up is to cut the wood. And... I'm going to have to do that next time. It's uh, 1.35 a.m. here, and everybody is sleeping, except me. I'm an idiot down here making videos. So, I want to keep the peace, so we'll get back to this tomorrow. You guys take care of yourself. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.